Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo X out Forex. So let's go straight to our weekly analysis, guys. So let's go straight to our weekly analysis. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends. Don't forget that today is the last day to join our team for sixteen dollars. And uh, if you are actually in South Africa, that is going to be actually three hundred rands. So yeah, this is actually a bargain. And for those who really don't really understand. Uh, when we say unlimited, it means you pay once, then you're done. And yeah, something like that. I don't think maybe there is any uh, other way to explain it. You pay once, then you're done. And we're going back on our normal price, which is actually $150, guys. So at least the few people joined, then they can enjoy the service. So anyways, let's see what uh, happened, actually. Uh, if you still remember, last week we had actually... You see, this is the second video that I made. So the first one I did, but the microphone was mute. So, ish. yeah, ne? anyways, it's fine. So what happened last week, we actually had some very nice economic news, CPI, but the numbers were up and we were not wrong. Uh, guess what? So that actually pushes uh, the dollar to be way too strong. And it's very strong. You will see that on the charts. So uh, this week, let's see what will happen this week. And Monday, we see Empire State Manufacturing Index, not really that important. New Zealand CPI, important if you trade the news. Um, Tuesday, I see CPI for Canada, very important. Also, it will move. Uh, on uh, Also, we have uh, core retail sales for actually uh, US on Tuesday. That will actually also move. After that, I don't really see much. I can see unemployment claims on Thursday, unemployment change for Australia. You can check that if you want to trade. And the other ones, I don't think they will move the market that much. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So let's go. Let's go. Let's jump on the market. What happened actually now? Uh, if, if you know, you know, you can go back on my chart and understand how did we reach here. And the market is still actually continuing on that actually uptrend. Very, very, very straightforward uptrend. So last week we were actually on the support. We were on the support side uh, before uh, CPI. Guess what? The market respected this area. If you still remember, we also broke out of that diagonal structure, which we now adjusted the structure because now it makes sense to connect it like that as the market is now pushing to the upside. But if you check on top there, we also have a nice resistance, but not really that stronger. The market can still push the upside. Why? The dollar is stronger. Inflation is still pushing a little bit higher, actually, in the U.S. That makes things to be expensive, but at the same time, the dollar is getting stronger, and we will see that on other pairs. So this is DXY or dollar index. So let's push to the next one, which is actually GBPJPY. I hope you can see the structure there. The market was pushing very nice, very, very nice. You can see here that, you know what? The market has been actually showing us. You can see the touches, guys. The market was just touching this uh, area very often or very nice. And it makes sense. Along the way, we also have a counter trend line inside the trend. You can see we continued to sell. Guess what? Uh, on Friday, we were back again. The market was going towards our resistance as we knew as we knew this area or as we already know that we are actually on a downtrend we did wait for a nice retest but if you check we also have another diagonal support but it all it was a counter or inside trend and it was a support we did wait you can see the market tried to respect that push a little bit up guess what we saw it come in and say, you know what? Yes, now things are looking very nice. We can continue with our sell. And that is it. We can see the profit can be made very simple if you understand these basics. But the bigger picture here is we are actually on a downtrend and we are expecting to do what? We're still expecting to sell. Where we are, I, uh, I don't think we're going to look for any sell. We just have to wait for the market to continue. Whether the market is going to break this support, then we can, we can continue selling. Or maybe the market will be pushing up again before we look for another sell. Yes, there is a chance for the market to break these areas, but we will see that uh, this coming week. We're not going to predict much, but we just have to wait and see. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. 
and like share with your friends gbp usd what's really happening quite straightforward we have a very nice downtrend the market was pushing up a few weeks ago guess what now the market is back on and there's a downtrend i like these touches here they make sense they are very straightforward guess what the market did come back around this resistance and we knew very well that okay it's thursday uh, around that time and we have economic news like cpi guess what the market as i used to say the market most likely will respect technical whether the news were positive or negative but most of the time the market will end up respecting what we have as technical analysis guess what the market did that and i hope my people did smash that i think they did actually eat in the group because i think we had something like this if you are in the group you know that you did smash you can say on the comment section and say you know what we did smash cpi because this was actually around cpi uh, event and i just told them to sell gbp usd euro usd nasdaq us30 stuff like that and where we are now i think we have double areas this area it seems to be a very nice support also the market might respect this and push up but if it breaks that we also have another closer support so we can't just say let's sell we have to wait for the market to do what we have to wait for the market to actually show us that it's breaking this area before we look for a sell not here because we have a nice very stronger support very close not really stronger but we have an area that we can call a support but the bigger picture is we are still on a downtrend we are still actually expecting to continue to sell as we actually follow the trends right so for now there is nothing that much we can do we just have to wait for tomorrow and the market can create its own structures then we can follow those structures now we are actually on the euro usd what's really happening on euro usd uh, the market was just continuing very nice you know when you you understand the trends and you following the trends most likely you it makes your job very easy very 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 easy because you draw mostly you don't really change these trends sometimes for even two weeks or even more since i drawn these trends even today and i think i drawn this maybe last week or last of last week but they still they are still very valid so my job is just to see where the market is going if it's going towards the uh, the resistance i just wait once it touches that i just wait for the market to do to do what to respect that then we jump for a sell but we had cpi that week and it, you know what it just made our job very easy the market did touch struggled to break guess what on the bottom side we also had this sort of a support then we had actually a sell below that everyone actually i hope did eat in my group so that's why we say you can join the team so that you can start to actually eat and today is the last day of that special so we're going back on our normal prices so now where we are now i think the market is very close to the support there's nothing we can do we can't sell where we are maybe the market will touch the support bounce back or maybe we can see a breakout but the best thing is to wait for the market for now we just have to wait and see what will happen but the thing is we are still on this downtrend which means we still expect to sell but we don't just sell anywhere that's the different right so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one let's push to the next one guess so what yes we also did a uh, next uh, last week it was very nice guys last week it was very nice we did actually smash uh so many uh star a uh, uh, pass it's euro usd it's nasdaq we gold also we did smash that oh we also have this area so you can see that this is a very nice resistant and the market did what the market did give us aggressive sell we had some serious aggressive sell there obviously with that aggressive sell we know that we're going to have a nice reversal so what do we have now i can conclude and say the market broke out so we have to wait for tomorrow but we had a very nice reversal we had actually a structure here that was respecting here then the market broke out then we continued with this uh, smaller uptrend and our a uh, thing here was just to hit and run so we had a pending order we smashed that but we got out early i did not really know that the market was going to reach that area because i thought maybe the dollar was very strong but i'll have to check what is really happening with the gold because it's seriously pushing to the upside but what we see here is the market is now towards our resistance trying to break that maybe 
few inches or uh, pips there but we will see what will happen tomorrow maybe the market will respect this or maybe the market will continue pushing yes the market has been actually struggling especially gold has been struggling under the dollar the dollar has been stronger guys so maybe now the market wants to do what to change the trend but it's opposite to other pairs guys other pairs uh, the dollar is still very dominant but uh now what we can do is we can say okay as we did it it's fine let's wait for the market to open tomorrow we will see what will happen maybe the market will continue or maybe the market will try to bounce back we will see we can uh say anything much so anyways let's push to the next one let's push to the next one which is actually us 30 what happened to us 30 a uh, us data actually the bigger picture is because we have to respect that firstly the trend is on a downtrend so which means the what we supposed to look for it's actually sell positions but where we are the market did give us some very nice actually structures and we ended up having this counter trend line inside this resistance you can see that and we also kept selling around this area the market then broke out you can see now we have what we have a resistant and support and now the market is actually consolidating remember we are still on a downtrend so what can we do since the market maybe it's been sold uh oversold for quite some time i think the market might end up pushing to the upside touching the resistance before pushing lower but since we are on a downtrend there is a chance for the market to break this support then we can look for a sell if it breaks this uh, resistant we can look for a quick buy or you we can just chill wait for the market to reach the resistance but for now the market is still actually consolidating uh, which means there is nothing much we can do there is nothing much we can do even though we know that we are actually on a downtrend we are supposed to wait for a sell but now the market is still playing games and we don't really want to play that game let's wait for the it to play then we can make money after right so for now we just have to wait for the consolidation or ranging the ranging structure to end then we will see it by breaking the resistance or the support before we even think about taking any decision maybe it will happen this week i don't know maybe monday tuesday we will see where the structure is going for now we just have to respect uh, our structures and just relax right we did it a lot actually last week so we don't really have to rush much so for the last time let me show you this today it's actually the last time for you to join our lifetime signal is 16 dollars coming from 150 dollars guys so from tomorrow which is monday we're going back on our normal prices i tried to actually accommodate everyone so here it's our qr code you can scan that talk to me there and say maybe you want to join bitcoin usdt paypal scrail local banks are also available for my sisters and brothers in mzanzi that is actually 300 dollars okay or six this 16 dollars is just equal to that 300 you pay once then you're done we don't have to pay monthly once you're done you enjoy unlimited service you can see by the consistency that we do a year on youtube so yeah anyways let's go back to a uh, nasdaq what happened if you still remember last week i've been talking or preaching about the market creating something like that do you see that and the market is now pushing lower last week the market was still towards this area then guess what we did touch the resistance uh, with the help of cpi and as it pushed up then we see the dollar getting what stronger so what do we expect i think the structure is just straightforward i'm still expecting to sell but we already did sold and i hope my people did take a uh, get out of the trade obviously the profit was very enough but where we are now uh is going to be difficult for us to get in again because if the market if you get out here for you to get in again here it's in the middle we don't really play like that so it's gonna be quite difficult or let's say we also had a previous structure it was a resistant maybe that will be a support the market might touch that and start to play games but at the end of the day we need to actually reach this area around 14500 there i think the market will still reach that but i don't think maybe the market will reach that straight up i think the market will just play games before we reach there but the bigger picture is we are still on a downtrend so we are looking for a sell 
or short positions the structure is very straightforward by the way but don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends as i repeat i will just leave this here for the last day then for those who wants to be part of the team for those who wants to eat with us you can see that you can just join the team and enjoy so thank you very much i will see you tomorrow guys thank you very much bye